Today we're going to be planting some things. I've got... Hey everyone, welcome back to the Galloway Farm YouTube channel. Today we're going to be planting some things. I've got some flower seeds I'm going to be planting and we're also going to plant a pear tree that I have and I'm going to bring you along for a duck house reveal since we're about 99% done with our duck house. So stay tuned. I got my flower seeds from Botanical Interests. I got a few different kinds, some that I don't know how to pronounce, honestly. Um, but they also sent a packet of lettuce seeds. It says, let us thank you. That's pretty cute. But I got a bunch of different kinds just to see what does well here. There's a bunch of zinnias. Got the fireball blend. There's, I wanted to do a cut flower garden. So that's kind of the uh, things I stuck with was cut flowers. Poppies, those are supposed to be really pretty. I got some flowers that um, will attract a lot of bees and butterflies and things like that for pollination. We don't have a vegetable garden right now. Um, we don't have the tractor parts we need for that just yet. So we're hoping next year we'll be able to do that. Um, so my idea is to plant the flowers, get a bunch of pollinators in and used to the area, and that way when we do have a vegetable garden, um, then they'll be there to pollinate. So that's my idea with that. I also have this little layout that I did just to kind of um, help me decide where I wanted. So I did the little sketch just to help me decide where I wanted to plant the flowers since some of them need to be spaced closer than others. Um, and the zinnias I want closer to the front. So I did that to help me decide where I need to plant it, just to be prepared. So I've already leveled out the flower bed. Um, I have a mixture of potting soil and then just some leftover dirt from around here and from my aunt's house that they brought over. Um, so I went ahead and leveled that out and we're gonna go ahead and plant the flower seeds. So this is our flower bed. It's pretty big, but I wanted to do a really big cut flower garden just to get pollinators in the area, like I said. So let's get to planting. So I'm going to start out with the sunflower packet. It has different varieties of sunflowers. And I'm just going to do these along the back of the flower bed because they're going to be the tallest. So we're going to start out. It says just do a group of three seeds every about foot apart. So we'll go ahead and start with these. Also, I'm gardening with no gloves. I just, I don't like gloves. I feel restricted, so no judgment. <laughs> and do the lettuce now. This is gonna be on the right end of the flower bed. And these are a little bit different. I don't want to um, make a little spot for each group of seeds. I'm just kinda gonna um, sprinkle them over this area and then rake over it later. So I'm gonna just pour them out in my hand and then just kinda sprinkle them. I 
also forgot to mention I'm not watering the flower bed while I'm doing this because it rained last night so the soil is pretty wet. Um, so I don't have to do that which is good. So now I'm going to do the dahlias and those are going to go right in front of where the sunflowers were. These looks like a group of three seeds about every 18 to 24 inches so they're going to go a little bit further than the sunflowers. After planting this row, I went ahead and finished the rest of the flower garden and then Jared started working on planting the pear tree. So here is the big duck house reveal. If you watched our previous videos, you know we turned this into a duck house from an old rabbit hutch that was left on the property when we bought it. We completely repurposed the wood. We saved a lot of money by doing that. We used this top part here as hardware cloth for ventilation and then we painted the whole thing red and white um, so it's not that green and blue color anymore. It's 99% done. We just have to put corrugated plastic up top for a roof and then maybe put some hardware cloth there in the top, very top, um, just to prevent any other critters from getting in. But there it is.
later in the day, so I decided to go ahead and make some biscuits to go with our dinner. Um, I'm going to be making sourdough discard biscuits. They're super simple, but it is from sourdough discard. I figured since I showed y'all a few weeks ago how to make sourdough starter, um, if y'all decided to make your own starter, you can incorporate this recipe with your discard. So I'll show y'all how to make these. Okay, so now that we have preheated our oven to 450, I'm going to put in the flour, salt, baking soda, and baking powder. You're going to use one cup of flour. Then we're going to add in salt. We're going to use three fourths teaspoons of salt. All right, then the baking soda, we're gonna do half a teaspoon of baking soda. All right, and then the baking powder, we'll do two teaspoons of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that together. All right, now we're gonna add in our butter. So I'm going to cube this butter. I just took it out of the fridge so it is still cold. You do want it chilled. Um, that will help the biscuits become flaky. So you can use a pastry blender to do this or your hands. I'm gonna start with my hands and then I might end up adding the pastry blender. You just want this mixture to resemble coarse crumbs or have little pea-sized lumps when you're finished cutting in the butter. So I've got some pea-sized lumps. So now we just have to add in the sourdough starter discard. And that was six tablespoons of butter. I don't know if I said that, <laughs> but we're gonna use one cup of the discard. So we'll add this in and then we're just gonna mix it until all the flour is incorporated. I've got most of the flour incorporated now. I'm just gonna use my hands to finish the rest and I'm gonna knead it until it all comes together. All right, so it's one big ball now. So I'm gonna flour this surface and then we're gonna roll it out and cut our circles. I like it to be about that thick, if you can see. And then we're just gonna cut out as many circles as we can with that. And we'll place those on our parchment paper over here. All 
so I'm gonna form this into a ball again and then cut some more circles. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so you never miss when we upload. Thanks guys, have a good one, bye.